Are your employees showing disengagement on a chronic basis or attending meetings but not speaking or taking action? Are your employees isolating from other team members or performing only to the minimum performance standards? If you notice any of such signs, then maybe your employees are quite quitting too. But what exactly is quiet quitting and what are the ways for employers and HR professionals to combat quiet quitting? Hello and welcome to the first episode of Vantage Insights wherein we bring you discussions on workplace trends and topics of relevance. I am Navanita and in today's episode we bring you five ways to combat quiet quitting at work. But before that, what exactly is quiet quitting? Quiet quitting is Gen Z's new way of discarding the idea of going above and beyond their job description. While some call it a workplace revolution, others believe it is an excuse to avoid putting in any extra effort or going the extra mile. Now, quiet quitting may sound like the most sustainable way to work, but in reality, it may have its downsides. After all, there is a difference between setting healthy boundaries and being disengaged. It is healthy to set some boundaries at work to maintain a work-life balance. but unhealthy to have zero enthusiasm for work it is healthy to discard the idea of overworking but unhealthy to be non flexible about taking up any additional responsibilities now how to combat quiet quitting as an employer or hr professional you need to look around and find the loopholes that might have led to quiet quitting among your employees and accordingly encourage your employees not to become quiet quitters show that they matter let them know that their efforts are of value and how do you do that number 1 by humanizing work humanize the work humanize the working environment introducing a humanistic approach in your workplace will show your employees that the company is equally invested in them as they are number 2 foster a culture of rewards and recognition think about the last time you were appreciated at work how did you feel happy valued and encouraged An act as simple as appreciating or recognizing your employees will boost employee morale and help them to fine tune their performance standards. Number 3 offer work life balance. A survey of 1120 US adults by Forbes found that 90% of the 620 currently employed respondents consider work life balance as an important aspect of their job. You see it is more about the quality of work rather than the quantity of hours employees put in. So prioritize implementing employee centric policies and support programs where your employees will feel safe, productive and motivated. Number 4 promote a culture of learning and development. If your work culture lacks talent development initiatives, then there is a high chance that your employees will quickly lose faith in your organization. So invest in programs that focus on developing the talent and skills of your employees. In order to do so, you can let your employees decide what they want to learn, connect learning to your organization's core values, and so on. Number 5, practice pay communication. Feeling underpaid may lead to reduced efforts at work. Therefore communicating with the employees regarding the pay policies is important to maintain transparency and clear any skeptics. So that was all about quiet quitting and ways to combat it. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, share it among your colleagues and leave your valuable comments in the comment section. We will soon come up with another episode of Vantage Insights. Till then, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you do not miss the updates of our upcoming episodes. On that note, this is Navanita signing off and I will see you all at the next episode.